Good afternoon folks, Big Bo here with another great Class B camper van value from Parkway RV Center. Folks, I just got in an absolute bargain on a Road Trek 190 popular. This is a 1997 model. We traded for this van sight unseen. Uh, we delivered the motor home to the guy and drove this van 350 miles back from Kentucky. Very, very nice van. 97 model with generator for only 12.9. Now folks, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, even though it doesn't look it, even though it doesn't drive like it, this van has 243,000 miles. And don't let that scare you folks if you're looking to buy one of these vans on a budget. This van's got a lot of life left to it. All the service and maintenance has been done. It's got the 5.2 liter Magnum V8. It's the heavy-duty Dodge 3500 chassis, the one-ton chassis. As you can see, the body looks great. Tires look great. It's got a satellite system on the roof. It's got the generator, awning. Pardon the wind here, folks. I'm kind of out here in the middle of the lot shooting this. I mean, the van drives great. My RV drivers who brought it in says it drives just as good or better than the other Class B vans that we have with 30 and 40,000 miles on them. I mean, it just hits the road great, folks. You know, 19 foot, gets around 15 miles per gallon. It's one of the most fuel efficient motor homes you can buy. Park it in a regular parking spot in a perfect couple's motor home. Sleeps up to three people. And I'm talking about, um, if you, if, if I put a piece of tape over the odometer and you came and looked at it in person and then drove it, you would be shocked when I pulled that tape off and you saw how many miles are on it. Because it does not look, drive, or ride like it has anywhere near that kind of miles on it. Glass is perfect, no rock cracks or dings in the windshield. Let's look inside this 97 Road Trek 190 Popular. Folks, inside this little van is in excellent condition for what it is. The one bad spot is the back of the passenger side seat. Um, it's got a little rip right there, but if you can overlook that, this is a nice van. Uh, you've got the third seat, so you can carry a third passenger. What you will do is actually take the passenger seat, swivel it around. It's on a swivel. It lays down flat, or kind of flat. This folds out and it makes a single bed. And then you got an actual king size bed in the back. Step inside. I mean, folks, this RV has no smoke or pad odors. And of course, we're gonna show you everything works great. And like I said, folks, 243,000 miles, but you can look at it. No check engine lights, no brake lights. I mean, somebody has kept and spent a lot of money on this van keeping it up factory stereo um, everything about it looks great it's got the fold down table right here so you can swivel the two front chairs around and have a eating service for three people the skylights look great you know no signs of leaks or leak damage anywhere it's carpet looks almost brand new uh, sink it's got a stove top two-way RV refrigerator Plenty of storage. You know, they don't waste any space on these road tricks. Every nook and cranny's got storage. It's got a bathroom with a shower, and I'll show you that here in a second. It's got the satellite system, generators, 313 hours. Uh, newer air conditioner back here. Uh, you know, you can put a flat screen TV right here if you want to, All any components you want. We got a, that looks like some kind of little inverter I guess in case you want to run everything with the, without having to run the generator that'll run your TVs and stuff like that it's got a table that sets up back here I just I, I've got to get one of the uh, leg the peg leg out of the shop they, we left it up there so yeah, you know the tables in great shape the upholstery's in great shape this makes a king size bed you open this up right here and you've actually got a little bathroom and it's got the shower uh, what it is you'll put a shower curtain on this rack and it goes all the way around you if you'll notice the floor is fiberglass with a shower drain so the water can drain out 
Not something you want to use every day, but it's one of those things to use if you have to. And then, of course, it's got a RV toilet with a RV. It's got the black water holding tank. Everything closes up here out of the way when you don't need it. You know, all the storage drawers look great. We're going to make sure everything functions perfectly on this motorhome, folks. And we're only going to sell it for $12.9. If you've been looking at these vans, for everything you get with this van, that's an absolute bargain. Now, don't get me wrong. I've got a great selection of these vans. I've got seven or eight of them right now. I've got some with low miles, but you're looking $24.9, $26.9, $29.9. You can buy this one that'll do the same thing those other vans will do for only $12.9. And will trade. Financing still available with approved credit. Interest rates as low as two and a half percent. And I'm gonna tell you, folks. I mean, don't let the miles scare you. If you're just looking for something to buy on a budget, something to use for fishing or hunting, or just something to travel in, uh, this van hits the road great. Uh, I mean, when you look at what you're saving. I mean, you can buy one of these vans with low miles for twice as much. But when you look at, oh, you're going to spend 12 grand more. I don't know about you, but I can put two transmissions and two engines in one for $12,000. So safe to say, even if you do have to do some work on this van, which you don't right now, you're saving a lot of money, especially over buying one that already has low miles. And I mean, after my guys driving it give it such a good driving report I, I wouldn't hesitate to drive it anywhere you know this unit's 12.9 I mean it's got everything a big motor home's got just shrunk down the headliner looks great very easy to drive and park and just hits the road just like it's supposed to shifts good drives good as a matter of fact we may even just take a little test drive in it because I don't want you to think that something's wrong with this van because there's not you know, folks, we've been in business 48 years. We sell over 500 used RVs a year. And these little vans are just so hard to find and almost impossible to find in this price range that this thing's going to sell in a few days. You know, somebody not wanting to spend a lot of money but wants a small motor home, it's the perfect couple's motor home because... This is something a teenage driver can drive and park. Two hundred forty-three thousand miles. I mean, there's no check engine lights. The gauges look great. Oil pressure gauge looks great. I mean, this is a nice van. Now I'm gonna try this. I've done it before in a Rialto, but I'm gonna try to drive with one hand film with the other so I mean I just want to show everybody that don't be scared of this van because if this is the price range you need to stay in it's gonna be hard to beat I mean these van I've seen these vans from the 80s in good shape like this bring what I'm asking for this 97 I mean it shifts in and out of reverse, neutral and drive. There's no bump or anything that gives me any indication that there's a transmission or motor mount bad. Well, the tires are smooth. Brakes, no play in the steering wheel. It doesn't, it doesn't wiggle. And then folks, I'm, you know, I'm not gonna put my reputation online and tell you a lie i mean this is i'm gonna tell you just what this van does if i see anything wrong with it i'm gonna point it out because you know you've been in, we've been in business almost half a century and i'm not going to risk that rep that great reputation just trying to sell a 97 model camper van it just doesn't work that way okay folks we're going up the road now shifts good you know no get on it just a little bit going up this hill no rattles in the motor I mean going up this steep hill I'm doing 60 miles an hour just like that
there's no play in the steering wheel. I mean, this steering is tight. Like I said, I can see what my drivers were talking about. I mean, you know, you would normally expect a vehicle with this many miles to have loose steering, but wow. I mean, I'm almost turning the van over just doing that. It's very, very tight steering. You can see how quiet it is. We're running 60 miles an hour. Um, I'm going to tell you, folks, it's uh, impressive. Like I said, if that odometer was covered up, you would never even remotely guess it had that kind of mileage on it. I mean, you would think you were driving a 50, 60,000 mile van instead of 243,000. I'm going to get on the interstate. I mean, this thing's quiet for what it is. You can, I mean, the oil pressure's right where it's supposed to be. The temperature gauge right where it's supposed to be. Get around these big trucks, it doesn't move us all over the road. That's one good thing I like about these small motor homes. See, I got a 38-foot Winnebago, and you get on the interstate, sometimes those big rigs will blow you around everywhere, but... Because this is so small, I mean, it's just easy. Easy, easy, easy. Cruise works. Got the cruise control on. It's running 70 miles an hour, just steady as you can be. I'm going to tell you, folks, um, don't let this scare you. I mean, I wouldn't hesitate to drive it anywhere. And I've been around these things for 20-plus years. So if you're interested in this van, give us a call. Our phone number is 706-965-7929. Evenings and Sundays, you can get sales help at 423-605-6747. You can visit our website, parkwayrvcenter.com, and you can email us at sales at parkwayrvcenter.com. You know, we got a great selection of these little vans in stock, and um, like I said, if you're on a budget, or just want to try one out to see if you like it. It's a good way to start. This fan will bring 12.9 next year if you keep it in this good a condition. So there's really no risk involved as far as buying it, deciding you don't like it or don't like the lifestyle and you want to sell it. Sorry about that, folks. I dropped my camera there. What I was saying is, uh, you know, if you're worried about losing money on this fan, if you don't like it or if you don't like the lifestyle, this van is going to be worth twelve nine next year, or even the year after, if you take care of it. Because these vans are just so popular demand that uh, there's always going to be an unreal market. It doesn't matter the mileage. As long as the van's in good shape mechanically and cosmetically, these vans sell faster than we can find them. So if you're worried about buying something, not liking it, and afraid you're going to resell it and lose money, you'd have no worries here. This van will bring twelve nine next year. I mean... That versus spending eighty or ninety thousand dollars on a new one and losing thirty grand when you pull it off the lot. I mean it's just no comparison. So give us a call. Our phone number is 706-965-7929. Evenings and Sundays you can get sales help at 423-605-6747. We're 48 years in business, folks. We've sold tens of thousands of RVs all over the United States. I even sold one of these vans to a buyer from Hawaii. I actually had to my drivers actually took it to L.A. and shipped it and put it to the uh, port, and they shipped it on a boat all the way to Hawaii. And these buyers didn't come thousands of miles and buy RVs from us because they like us, but they came here because we saved them a lot of money. No commission salespeople, no price pressure sales tactics, lowest prices on the Internet, and the nicest, cleanest RVs. So give us a call, drop us an email, or better yet, Come visit us here in beautiful Ringo, Georgia. If you want to fly in, drive this little van home, you can. We'll pick you up for free at the Chattanooga, Tennessee Airport, bring you back to the lot. RV Tech will go over this van with you front to back, top to bottom, and sign some paperwork, pay for it, and you're on your way. Easy as that, folks. So give us a call. Look forward to meeting you here in Ringo, Georgia.